Today we are here with a new television show called Through a Child's Eyes. After the end of this program, we write the location. If we had fun. If we learned something. If we're going to come back. No, we didn't shoot our first episode in some far off rainforest. We were only a little ways west of the Twin Cities at the Minnesota Landscape Arboretum. There, the University of Minnesota has more than a thousand acres of gardens, fountains, and trees. The Arb is a place where learning can be fun. The Stick Castle was last year's big attraction at the Arboretum, the Big Build. The Big Build took nearly a month to complete, but thanks to the Arb's time-lapse cameras, we accomplish it here for you in about two minutes. A year ago in May, artist Patrick Doherty and more than 80 volunteers and Arboretum staff built what would soon be called the Oofta Palace. The big build is made up of thousands of twigs, branches, and saplings woven and twisted together. Not a single nail or peg was used in the entire structure. Five truckloads of mostly willow went into the construction of the palace. Apparently, they threw in a little maple to spice up the decor. Mr. Doherty has built more than 175 twig structures over the past 20 years. They come in all shapes and sizes. Some have been designed to look like childhood tree houses, the huge nest of some monster, or even jack-o'-lantern heads. His works have appeared all over the world, in Scotland, France, Japan, Australia, and throughout the U.S. Don't wait too long to see the Oofta Palace. Made out of twigs, it is designed to eventually break down and return to the soil. Most of Mr. Doherty's sculptures last only about two years. <laughs> 